great. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what all the poor people are doing. Pretty romantic, huh? Two guys, two girls, the sky, the sea. What was that? I don't know. Great. Just great. We had a sandbar. Oh, Nick! Watch it! Come on, settle down, okay? The mainland's way over there, Nick. Oh, I can't go any further. Great, Nick. You've well and truly stuffed things up this time. Thanks a lot. You should have worn decent shoes then, shouldn't you? No, I'm thirsty. Me too, and burnt. Come on, it's not far now. Hmm, not far to where? Ah. Uh, You've got us lost, haven't you? No! No, it's all under control. Yeah, that's what you said last time. Yeah, look at us now. Quit your bitching, will you? Any chance for a lift to the nearest phone? Sure thing. You'll have to ride in the back, though. It could be a bit dirty. Oh, that's cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh, it's going to be so good to sit down. I'm sure. Yeah, I knew our luck would change. Hello, what have we got here? Chest pains. She felt dizzy at home. I've had a heart attack, Doctor. Minor, but inconvenient. Heart attack, eh? We'll just take a look, shall we? Thank you, sir. And thank you for the thrilling ambulance ride. I haven't had so much fun since Jackie Stewart took me for a spin around Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> now then, uh, what did you have for lunch today? A fabulous Sheskwin chicken, but... Oh, uh, spicy Chinese food, eh? That could account for some of the discomfort. It was pain, Doctor, not discomfort. I've had a heart attack. It's not the first, and I'm quite familiar with my symptoms. I'll just take your blood pressure. Have you had any uh, history of pulmonary problems or rheumatic fever? I have a history of ischemic heart disease, so if you'll simply admit me... If that's what's required, I will. But I can't deprive seriously ill patients of a bed without being sure. I'm sure Michael McKenna will see it differently. He's a personal friend of mine, and your employer, one would assume. Name dropping again, Miriam. Stephen, darling boy, <laughs> what a joy to see you again. And yourself. You haven't been in to visit us for a while. No, I've been away. Yeah? Where this time? Oh, Asia, Philippines. Half your <laughs> luck. Uh, you have Mrs. Carlyle's file? Oh, sorry. So what brings you in? Oh, just my silly heart. This young man, however, seems to think I'm malingering. Do set him straight, would you? Um, Mrs. Carlyle's been in before um, with coronary difficulties. So I see. Right, we'll want a 12 lead ECG, routine blood test, continuous cardiac monitoring, and 15 minute ops. For sure. Take care of the details, Mr. Mills. Thank you, Doctor. A private room, I think. Something with a view, if that could be arranged. Only the best for you, Mrs. Carlyle. Why, naturally. <laughs> there you are. Out you get. Trudy, bye Annabelle, take care girls. I don't know why everyone puts pigs down, they've got such sweet personalities. You know, you're a real worry sometimes. See ya. Bye. Who's he calling? The coast guard to report the boat. What? Hang up. Rack off. You trying to get a sprung? Look, he's got to let someone know, otherwise it could sink and then we'd really be in trouble. Shh. Yeah, I'm here. There's a boat adrift off the coast, south of Seven Mile Beach. I don't know, I haven't got any charts, but it was near an island. What's the name of the boat? It was called the, um... What's the name of the boat? Don't look at me. Nick, um, equaliser. Equaliser. 
My name? Yeah, sure. It's uh, Stuart. What'd you do that for? If you tell him your name, we may as well walk into McKenna's office and invite him to crucify us. Look, we know we only borrowed the boat, right? But do you reckon he's gonna see it that way? He's gonna sack me. Or have us charged. I don't want to go to jail. We have to own up now. We're bound to get caught. How? All the stuff we left on the boat. Nothing had names on it. OK, well, stacks of people saw us getting on the boat. Yeah. From a distance. Nobody would recognise us. It's true. People look different with their clothes off. Look, we can all get out of this, but we all have to keep our mouths shut. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. I need my job. Me neither. I'm not sure as hell won't. Well? It's not right. It won't work. I can't say I'm overjoyed with the accommodation. <laughs> but this is a clinic, Mrs Carlyle. Not the QE2. Quite right. Oh, I suppose I am a trifle spoiled. Still, I suppose it can be made quite bearable. I'll need a telephone immediately. Once my friends know where I am, I shan't feel too frightfully bored. Uh, next of kin only for the next couple of days, I'm afraid. Oh, but darling. Dr Ropata's orders. Oh dear, this is going to be rather grim. Well, if you've just had a heart attack, the best thing you can do is rest. Well, I'll have to have a television. This in-house programming leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, and some magazines. You would arrange it? The telly, yes. Perhaps some of your friends could bring in some magazines. Could you not pop down the road for me? I have other patients to attend to. You do take breaks, don't you, perhaps then? Mrs Carlyle, I'm a very busy... <laughs> and get a little something for yourself. Call it a thank you gift from me. I don't accept tips, Mrs. Carlyle. I'm a nurse, not a lady's maid. Hi. How's my best girl? Darling boy, you shouldn't have. I stole it off the uh, reception desk. <laughs> Another man with touch of larceny. Mm. For you, I would steal the crown jewels. I could use a <laughs> hand here. <laughs> How can you suck up to her like that, the demanding old madam? Hurry him. No way. She is one classy lady. I've got to get dressed up and everything. Pardon? My meeting with the board about Tom. It's tomorrow. I'd forgotten. Wish I could. What if I say the wrong thing? Just stick to the truth. Then they'll sack Tom for sure. Everything's under control now. Tom's been diagnosed. He's undergoing treatment. I'm sure the board will be fair. Yeah, sure. Some people shouldn't be allowed to take up bed space in this clinic. Huh? Queen Carlisle. She can afford a four-star hotel. Why does she have to check herself in here? Well, there is a possibility that she's genuinely ill. <laughs> Dr McKenna, we weren't expecting you back till tomorrow. I didn't expect to be back. Problems at the medical conference? No, no, the conference was wonderful. I'd just birdied the tenth and then my damn pager went off. Bet it was Carlisle complaining she didn't get caviar for lunch. <laughs> An emergency. The Coast Guard notifying me that Equalizer had been reported adrift off Seven Mile Beach. You're joking. I don't joke about $300,000 worth of boat. Now I've got to collect my registration papers so they'll release it to me after salvage, assuming that there's enough left of it to salvage. When I find out who is responsible, I am going to have their guts for garters. See? All clear. I told you we'd get away with it. Why can't I just go home? Because you, Wally, you told your mother we were going fishing for the weekend. Turn up now and she's gonna want to know why. I'm telling you, we're getting in deeper and deeper. Oh, keep it down, will you? You'll wake up, honey. You put a light on there. Mum! I thought you were going away for the weekend with Dr McKenna. And I thought you had gone fishing. Apparently we were both wrong. I can explain. I'm listening. So, Mum, what happened with your weekend away? Just start explaining, Nick. Okay. We were going into the National Park, doing one of those point-to-point -point things. What do you call it, Stu? Orienteering. That's it. Real primitive stuff. Back to the basics, live off the land. That explains the camping gear you left behind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we were going pretty good, too. Until I sort of wimped out when the storm came. The storm? Yeah, thunder, lightning, winds up to 120 k's. Rain bucketing down. Probably heard about it on the news. As a matter of fact, I did see tonight's forecast. The weatherman commented on the dry spell we've been having. Yeah, well... Try again. And drop the lies. We went to a party. 
a beach party. It was an all-nighter. I knew you wouldn't let me go. So I made up the fishing trip. If it was supposed to last all night, what are you doing home now? Turned out to be a real bummer. Stuart, is that the truth? Oh, yes, Mrs. Harrison. It sure is. Dinner, madame, from Frontines, especially for you. We have a lobster medallions with lemon and dill, freshly steamed baby vegetables, magnifique. <laughs> oui, très magnifique. Merci, monsieur. And for status, mm. a vintage glass of soluble aspirin. I'd rather have this. Miriam. Daily martini, darling. One can't forego one's indulgences just because one's incapacitated. Luckily, Fontaines are happy to indulge the whims of regular patrons. <laughs> You're a very, very naughty girl. Yes, but isn't it fun? <laughs> ah, there's something been left off my order. Perhaps you should, uh, you should give it a mess. Oh, come on, don't be boring. It's only a split. Can't deny you anything, can I? You men can. Will you join me? Tell you what, I'll do your deal. You, um, you take your medicine and then you can wash it down with a glass of champagne. Monster. You can take it or leave it. Very well, then. Good. That's what I find endearing about you. So few stuffy medical pretensions. Well... I hate to ruin my rep, but if you keep on living it up the way you are, eating, drinking, being merry, you're going to put an awful strain on your heart. You should, uh, you should ease up a bit. So I can live longer and die of boredom. <sighs> I'd rather have a short life, but an amusing one. Look, I'm... <laughs> Morning. Get a hold of my insurance company, Jen. I have to make a claim. Sure. How was the weekend? Did you and Andrea have a nice time? Andrea is somewhat annoyed with me. Oh? Hardly surprising, since I had to abandon her halfway through our stay. Why? What happened? Ah, uh, some young hooligan stole equaliser from a mooring, took her for a joyride up Seven Mile Beach, and then set her adrift. Oh, no. But you got it back? Yeah, the Coast Guard brought her in, but not before she'd run aground. Much damage? Won't know that till I get her up on the slips. Expensive business. I'll get on to the insurance company right away. Yeah, I want to know what I'm covered for. I'll bet that the Coast Guard fees and the towing, etc., isn't covered if I ever get my hands on those pirates. Do the police have any idea who's responsible? Ah, they're not particularly interested. According to the desk sergeant, since the property in question has been recovered, apprehension of the thieves is fairly low on our list of priorities. Mm. They won't pursue the matter unless I come up with some incriminating evidence. Was there anything left on the boat that would help? Just all this rubbish. Looks like they had quite a party. A party? Hmm? <sighs> Nothing. And this watch? Inexpensive, probably thousands of them around. Oh, I see that all this is couriered over to the police station, will you, for all the good it'll do? Yes, of course. You're still here. Not exactly killing yourself to get home, are you? Yeah, it's um, pretty foul at home, you know, with the old separated. My dad's even talking about divorce. Excellent. Single mums are a pushover. Just look at mine. Yo. Well, hi, mum. How's it going? Uh, Nick, about that party you supposedly went to. It did go honest. Yes, well, you didn't say where it was. I did. At the beat. Which one? Um, Seven Mile. Why? How did you get there? Took the bus. That's a K, isn't it? Hmm. I didn't think there was any road access to that beach. No, uh, there's not. You have to walk down the track. It's a real hike. Hey, Mum, I've got to go. Stuart's just leaving. Yes, all right. I'll see you tonight. Right. Oh, Nick! Yeah? Where's your watch? My watch? I'm... Oh, hell. What? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's around somewhere. I hope you haven't lost it. No way. It's not in my room. Find it, won't you? Yeah, right, bye. What? She was asking all kinds of questions. Like how we got to the beach and where my watch is. You think she's on to us? I don't know, but I left my watch on the boat. If the Coast Guard find it. And it's traced back to you, we're history. 
I knew we should have come clean. Shut up and let me think. Okay. So we ante up. What? I need a new watch. How'd you go with the insurance people? I'll get right onto it. Good. And uh, send this down for processing, will you? For on the weekend? In a manner of speaking. Oh, morning. Any luck with the boot? No. I'd really like to get my hands around the necks of the ratbags who stole her. Yeah, look, I forgot to mention yesterday that we admitted uh, Miriam Culler. Oh, no. More trouble with her heart? Uh, could be. I'm monitoring her. She insisted you be informed. Seems to think uh, your personal friendship will guarantee our professional concern. <laughs> yes, she does like to be the centre of attention. Yeah, Steve Mills is the only person on staff who doesn't seem to think she's an overbearing society scatterbrain. Not surprising. But look, take that medical condition seriously. Despite her joie de vivre, that heart problem isn't amusing. I'll keep an eye on her. Good. Hurt from Claire. Has her father recovered from the surprise of your engagement? Oh, shock would be the word. He's not exactly overjoyed by her choice of fiancé. Oh, he'll come round once he meets you? I hope so. So when's she coming back? Uh, sometime next week. If she wants to stay at the house, the office's still open. Oh, thanks. I'll let her know, eh? How did it go? With friends like me, who needs enemies? Was it that bad? Worse. What did you say that was so awful? I didn't tell him everything I know. But they kept picking at me for things the other guys had said. Like Tom sleeping in the back of the amber all day long and crashing out in the pub. I couldn't pretend they were liars, could I? No. <sighs> Poor Tom is going to get the sack for sure. Oh, look, you don't know that. <sighs> you know? <sighs> I'm going to get the blame. You can count on it. Look, you won't. <sighs> you reckon? Tommy dumped his wife just for having a quiet word with the boss. It's a done deal. Not only am I going to lose the best partner a bloke's ever had, I'm going to lose my mace as well. Here you are, darling boy. Your girlfriend in private wants you. Who? Miriam Carlyle. The problem with her heart is that she hasn't got one. Oh, come on, Miriam's a great old dame. Makes a nice change from post-op and terminals. And McKenna's watching the case, so she gets VIP treatment, whether we like it or not. Well, tell him to hire a houseboy to run her errands. Why bother when she's got Steve? <laughs> True. What are you trying to do? Get yourself written into her will? No, she has got a soft spot for me. Oh, you're such a sleaze. No, I'm witty, charming, intelligent. And you're jealous. Here's that list of boat repairers. Get me the best quote you can, will you? Right. You know, if the police ever do locate those thieves, I am going to take the excess out of their hides. Hi, Dr. McKenna. Nick Stewart. What's his problem? Some joyrider stole his boat yesterday. It was damaged and he's not very happy. And I don't blame him. Are you kidding? You are some people, eh? Hey, I found the watch. It was in the drawer. Oh, good. What did you come in for? You sounded a bit upset about the watch over the phone. Oh, you didn't have to come down specially to show me. Mm, didn't want my favourite mum stressing out. No, Nick, you can't have any money. Can you come in a minute, please, Jenny? I'll see you guys later. See? Told your mums were a snack. We're off the hook. Look at my face. How are your feet? Oh, terrific, as long as I don't stand on them. Hey, has anything happened? Well, I'm keeping a low profile as far as McKenna's concerned. He is in a foul mood. Mm. And he had Jenny send over a package to the coppers. I think the stuff we left on the boat was in it. A makeup bag. Oh, do you know how much it's going to cost me to replace all those cosmetics? Heaps. My grandmother gave me that bag. What am I going to tell her when she finds out I haven't got it anymore? Tell her it got stolen. I can't lie to her. Grandmas always know when you're lying. It's a well-known scientific fact, Kirsty. Well, you can always go down to the police station and claim it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, anyway, don't worry, not the only one. I lost my beach town, all my sunblock stuff, and that isn't cheap, you know. And my new romance novel. At least I remember to take my camera. My folks would have killed me if I'd lost... Look, at least we didn't leave anything behind that could identify us. Oh. What? I think I did. 
Hey, uh, there you go, gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Stephen. All my secrets revealed. Yeah, it looks like you're doing fine. Wonderful. How much longer do you think I'll be in here? Well, it's hard to say. Tests aren't showing much. Might be here a while. I have so much to do before I join ship in Rio. You off again? When? In about ten days or so. The travel agent still has to arrange all the papers and everything, but... <sighs> You're going to South America all by yourself? I'm sure I'll make lots of interesting chums. Honestly, Miriam, you need a keeper. Are you volunteering? Oh, you bet. Let's stow away in your luggage any time. I'm serious. Are you interested in the job? You're trying to lead me astray, you wicked woman. Nurse companion. With the emphasis on companion. I need someone who can keep my excesses in order without boring me to tears in the process. I think you'll do nicely. Well, I'm very flattered. Then accept. We'll have such fun. Travel, adventure, bright lights, champagne. How much do you earn now? No, don't tell me. Whatever it is, I'll double it. Tempted? Hi, ladies. Nick. You're glowing today, Kirsty. We're in deep trouble. They're going to find out it was us on the boat. Relax, I've got it covered. Not this, you don't. Gina left something behind. With your name on it? Not exactly. It's worse. Tell them, Gina. Well, remember when I ran out of film while I was taking those photos? Well, I changed the role and... and you've left it on the boat. With at least a dozen photos of us all on it. And when that film's developed... Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost It seems I think the change is what I need If I'm looking for a chance I would dream Yesterday's in another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall Says I'll be shining and straight If you want to find a way Of searching for another world It's hard to see Shining and straight This program was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand on air.